Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Pacer Performance High 5 Truck Cab Light Kit. This is going to be for the 2000, or excuse me, for the 1999 through 2016 Ford Factory Super Duty trucks. So it's going to be the same style as that light. The lenses for these are going to be a smoke color, so it gives it kind of a darker look. So you can have that uh, sort of murdered out look on your truck and look pretty cool. The other advantage with having the high five lights on your cab is that it gives your uh, truck a little bit more visibility while you're out there on the road. Makes it a little easier for other drivers to see you and uh, avoid any kind of collisions with other people since we'll have some more visibility, especially in those areas where there's a lot of fog, rain, snow. Just gives you a little bit more lighting for your truck. Now we will get everything you see laid out on the table here. We'll get our five lights and the gasket to help conform to our roof line. Also provide a little water protection around each of the studs as it's going in. So you want to make sure you get that nice and tightened down. We'll also have the hardware to tighten the studs down through our roof. So with that, you will have to drill a couple holes to get these in place. Two for each of those studs and then one for the wiring to come down through. This kit does come with the incandescent bulbs, and there's also another kit that's almost exactly like this one. It just comes with the LEDs, and personally, I would suggest getting that one since LEDs are going to be a lot longer lasting than your incandescent bulbs, but I'm still going to show you what this looks like illuminated with one of those little bulbs in place. So these are going to be T10 194 style bulbs. Pop that into place and just give that a little quarter of a turn to get that in place behind your light. Then we've got our red wire connected to power, black wire goes to ground. Connect that up to my setup here and power it on. So you can see that light comes on. It's not going to be blinding or anything. That's kind of the idea. You don't really want it to be super bright, so you're going to be blinding anybody else on the road. It's just giving you a little bit more visibility and also adding to the looks of our truck as well. We'll turn the lights out so you can get a better idea of how bright that is. So that is a little bit dimmer than the LED bulbs. Um, again, if you want to get that kit, that is going to be part number pp 20 6S, and you can find that right here at eTrailer.com. Because with everything else, just has the addition of those LEDs. So they should look like this. They operate in the exact same way. Just pop into that little socket, wire everything else up the same. So as far as the install, you will have to drop the headliner in your truck to get the hardware in place and also to do your wiring. It comes with quick splice connectors, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, but they will work pretty well in this instance since we're going to have our one wire going between all of our lights and we want to just tap each one into that line. So quick splices actually work really well for that and make it a little bit simpler to do. And since that connection is going to be inside your truck, you don't really have to worry about any kind of water protection. One thing, if it was me, that I would maybe add would be a little bit of silicone sealant just to make sure that there's no water that's getting into the truck. Uh, I just wouldn't want to have to deal with that later. So the gasket should do a pretty good job, but it would just kind of be a redundancy that, again, if it were me, I would do just for safety. Comes with a fuse to go into our switch. The switch also allows you to bypass your factory wiring, so you can just utilize your own switch, operate the lights on their own. That's nice because we don't have to worry about voiding any warranties on our truck, be able to get everything connected without doing any damage or um, really messing with anything. Comes with a couple screws to get that in place and should mount like that. Spade terminal on the end of the wire here goes to the back of the switch. We'll have the same one coming off of our wire there. So it's pretty much it as far as the install goes. Relatively straightforward, you just want to make sure that you're careful whenever you're measuring everything, get everything lined up before you actually drill, and you know, take your time with it. But uh, if you want to check out that other kit, you can find that here at eTrailer.com. You can also find silicone sealant here as well. If you want to know how big these lights are, each of them is going to be about the same, so they're about 4 inches long by 3 inches wide and about one and a half inch tall. 
That's going to do it for our look at the Pacer Performance High 5 Truck Cab Light Kit. We always want to make sure that we provide you with the best information possible so that you can make your de decision a little bit easier. Thanks for watching.